Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for some drawing. I was off last week, had a little time off with the family, which was very nice. But now it is time for me to be back with you all and do some drawing. And it's gonna be easy peasy because we're, as usual, gonna do a draw along where we go step by step and you can follow along. And I make sure to keep the pace nice and slow and easy, relaxed. And uh, at the end of it, you always have a really fun drawing to keep, to try and draw again if you wish and make some changes to embellish in some way, to color, you know, all that fun stuff. I hope you all are healthy and safe and sound and doing well. Um, while I was on vacation, I did actually have to go uh, to the doctor. I told him that I was hearing a buzzing sound and he said, it's probably just a bug going around. Okay, so I think we'll do some drawing now. Everybody needs to go and grab a nice pencil, pen, a marker, or a crayon, or uh, maybe a chopstick that you could dip in some soy sauce and draw all over the walls with. Um, and we're going to do a, a you draw it. Now this is where I will draw three basic kinds of lines, you know, and they're easy for everybody to do. I'll show you what they are. Okay, the first is a straight line like that. That could go in any direction, right? Straight, straight, straight. Does it have to be perfectly straight? No, don't worry about that. It does not have to be perfectly straight, okay? We're also going to do some nice zigzags. Look at these. Right? Sometimes they go next to each other like that. All right, and last but certainly not least, and as usual, I tell you it is my favorite because it's so lovely. That is a curvilinear line. Look at that. Curvilinear. Okay? Now, if you can do those three kinds of lines, then you can do these drawings, and you're going to be in great shape. Uh, before we get going, I want to say hi to some friends in the chat. Who do we have here today? Let's see. Uh, Sam, Ariana, hello. Jai, Jay, Yai. Please, Jay, tell me how to pronounce your name. I want to make sure I'm getting it right. You've been here before, and I want to make sure that as a frequent visitor to this show, I, the host, am pronouncing your name correctly. Um, we have Stephen. We have uh, Kerwin. Nice to see you all. Thank you for being here. Ready to do some drawing? Okay, why don't we get right to it? Now today's drawing is going to be something that um, some people consider cute, some people consider it a nuisance. Up to you, depends on where you live and depends on what you like. Uh, we're gonna start with a little straight line this way. There we go. All right, now how long should that line be on your paper? Well, let's see, uh, maybe about yeah, three quarters of an inch, something like that. Okay. I don't want to make it too small because we got some details and things to add here later that you don't want to be doing tiny little minuscule things like that. All right. All right, next, watch this. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this closely. I'm going to swoop down like that. Okay. That is what we call a C curve. So if you are a frequent visitor to this show, you know that I say C curve a lot and sometimes I say S curve. C curves look like this, right? Whoops, I just did an S curve, pardon me. C curve, sometimes I do a shallow C curve like that. Shallow C curve, shallow C curve. Other times an S curve, right? Just so you know what those look like. Alrighty, moving on, time for some symmetry. Okay, we do this a lot. So we just did a line like this on this side of the line. Why don't we do it again on that side, like so. Alrighty. Here comes a really easy thing to do. All of you guys are gonna have an easy time with this. We're just gonna do little short lines underneath like this. One and a two, one and a two. So far, so good, right? Now how about some more C curves? Watch what I do. I'm gonna start at this corner right here, you ready? I'm gonna go C curve up and over like that. Same on this seed, C curve up side, pardon me, C curve up and over. All right, now some of you might be thinking, hmm, I think I know what this might be, and maybe you do. All right, we're gonna do something now. We're gonna swoop down this way. Okay, this is gonna be a shallow C curve at an angle. All right, so watch carefully, here we go. Shallow C curve at an angle. On the other side, same deal, shallow C curve at an angle, okay? And then we're just gonna do a little connecting line that's slightly curved like that. Okay. Alrighty. Now, watch carefully. Zoom in so you can really see this. I know this is bigger than I usually zoom in for you all, but it's important to get the shape right. This is going to be a little C curve here. Okay. 
And then I'm going to draw a line up like this. Watch, right from here, I'm going to come up and stop. See that? Same on this side, it's going to join that line like this. Okay, so I wanted you to see how that looks up close. Uh, Koi says, raccoon. What? Oh my goodness sakes. You're absolutely right. This early in the game, nailing it. I love it. Okay, well, let's keep going. Uh, so yes, it is a raccoon, friends, and we have to draw a nice little circular shape here for the mask that the, wear, the, ra the raccoon appears to be wearing. Sorry, I'm having trouble speaking today. I've been out of the game for a week, folks. You gotta just cut me some slack, right? Gotta get back into it. All right, so we need to do that. It's gonna be a curvilinear line or a C curve. Are you ready? Here we go. Curve it up, starting from here, up and over like that. Come to the other side, do the same thing. Up and over, okay. And then we gotta leave a little space here, right? For that area of the fur that is lighter. And we're gonna do that this way. We're gonna come up at an angle like that and down back this way. And there you have it. Now the eyes of a raccoon are pretty close up to the top of that mask. So we're gonna do bigger circles than we normally would because we're gonna actually wind up coloring this in. Let me show you. So I'm gonna make the eye about that big, right? And you think, well, that looks kind of large. But you'll see that once we color that in around it for the mask, it's not gonna look that big. Watch. I'm just gonna color this in. And see, because it blends in with that line I drew, makes the eye look smaller. Aha, ha ha. So that's why we overcompensate a little bit with that step. Now why do we have this line coming up here? Well, here's why. We're gonna connect it with a triangle. Watch, we're gonna go out this way and out that way. And that's that little shape there. Well, color in the rest of this action right here. And there you have the beginnings of your raccoon. Now, we need to have some whiskers. So we're gonna go one, two, one, two. There is a cute little raccoon head. Now hang on a second. You might think, well, what are we gonna do? We're gonna draw the raccoon's body. No, 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 not at all. Instead, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna come over about here. Now, I'm just gonna come over from about where we drew this line, this diagonal line here. I'm gonna mark that point in my brain and I can say, okay, come on over this way, straight to the left, right? And right here where the face ends on the left, where the fur comes out, I'm just gonna go like this. One and two and three, like so. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna come over it with a little curve like that. Same thing on this side, I come over here and I go one and two and three, and then a little curve like so. Mm-hmm. What are we doing? What are we doing? All right, now, I've left a good bit of space here. Let me show you why. I'm gonna come out this way, a little line like that, and do the same on this side, okay? Look at these lines, they are the same length. So try and get them about the same length. I'm also gonna come in this way a little bit, leave a little space there, same on that side, okay? And now we have to draw a long line. Okay, now this line is gonna be tapering inwards this way. So like I often do, I'll give myself a little target to aim for. I'm gonna say, okay, I wanna hit about this spot right there. See that, so it's not straight down, it's down and to the right. Okay, down and to the right. And now I'm gonna do it in two shots. I'm gonna go one, pick up my pencil, and then two. Now the reason I did that is I don't want my hand to have to travel that great distance to make that line perfectly straight and get it all the way there. Sometimes it's good to pick up your pencil along the way so you can get your line more accurate. All right, so I'm gonna look up this other side and say, okay, now where do I want that other little dot to be? I'm gonna say about there. Okay, that feels about right, down and over, maybe a little further over, maybe about there. And then I'm gonna aim for it. I'm gonna go one, pick up my pencil, two, just like so. All righty. A little bit of symmetry action there. Okie dokie, now watch this. I'm gonna draw an ellipse, are you ready? It's gonna go like this. See that, it's an oval, not a circle, it's an oval. And then I'm gonna draw a line on the top and the bottom like that, okay? And then drop a C curve at the end, 
like that. And right here, okay, watch this. I'm gonna draw another oval, but it's gonna be a zigzaggy oval. Watch. Bup, 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 bup. See that? Hmm. That is a can. Alrighty, I'm gonna make these lines a little bit longer down here because I want there to be some overlap when I cut this way. And I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna draw a line like that and I'm gonna draw another line connecting this one. But see how I left some space over here on the right? It's because I'm gonna do this now. One, two, three. And over here, a few more of those. We have a trash can in the grass here. Now, for the lid of that trash can, watch this. I'm gonna look at how wide the top of this can is here. And I wanna say, all right now, I need to make sure the lid is about that wide. So watch what I do. I'm gonna draw a line coming down this way. And I'm gonna start about here, and I'm just gonna go down like that. Alrighty, see that? Then I'm gonna do a little shot like that, and then one up that way. Okay, and then I wanna connect these. So I'm gonna come down. Remember, you can always pick up your pencil if you need to, and then keep on going. No problem there. And finally, just a little C-curve here for the top of that trash can. And there's that lid that this naughty raccoon has pushed off so you could get to the trash, right? And now I'm gonna draw some lines coming down this way for a little bit of uh, added detail here. Now you can break them up sometimes. You can do a little bit of that. See that? Leave a little space. Do another one. Maybe this one has a little break right there. And do another one here. Break it up. Like that. Why are you doing that, Kyle? Why are you breaking it up like that? Folks, it's just one of those tricks. Makes it a little more interesting for the viewer. Uh, we're almost there, we're almost there. So now what you wanna do is just add a few little kinda, where those breaks are, a few little lines like this, kinda cut across. We're basically saying, hey, this trash can's been dented and dinged here and there, right? It's not perfect. And that just gives you a little bit of interest here where you might otherwise have kind of a big open space that you find not so not so engaging, right? So that's a little trick you can use right there. All right, and last, I'm just gonna put a little line here and here to sort of put that body of the raccoon, that neck kind of coming forward. All right, hope that makes sense, what I did there. Yeah, just cleaning things up now, cleaning some stuff up. There we go. And maybe you just caught this raccoon in the act and he's astonished. Oh, he says, wow, caught. I've been caught. Alrighty, why don't we slide him over this way. And I'm gonna show you some doodles, okay? Now we have one on the left and one on the right. Okay, two doodles. And I want you in the chat to please tell me what you think first this one on the left looks like followed by the one on the right. So we're gonna start with this one on the left. And while you've got that going on, I'm gonna throw up some facts for you here. Uh, the English word raccoon comes from the Powhatan word, it's a Native American tribe, Arukan, I hope I'm saying that right, which means animal that scratches with its hands. Yes, the thing about raccoons is their hands are so dexterous. You know, raccoons can really pick up things and they've got a lot of fine motor skills there. Um, did you know that also raccoons kind of I wouldn't say smell with, but they do kind of uh, understand whether or not something is edible with their hands rather more so than their noses. Their hands are so sensitive. And sometimes you might see a raccoon lick its hands a little bit, its fingertips, and then touch something. And the reason it's doing that is to heighten the sensitivity in the hand to see whether that's something they want to put in their mouths. Interesting animals. Um, and here's another fact for you. A raccoon lived in the White House as the pet of President Coolidge and First Lady Grace Coolidge. And as I understand it, the raccoon was actually going to be a Thanksgiving meal because raccoon meat was something that people ate at the time, but they thought that's such a cute little critter and said, why don't we keep him as a pet? So how about that? All right, so doodle on the left. Tell me what you think you see and I'll draw it. Let's see. The right one looks like a fishing line, says Ariana. 
two moose discussing, uh, discussing maple syrup. Oh, that's a lot to, to try and figure out, but that's actually both doodles. You're looking at both, aren't you? Interesting. Well, for just this one on the left, that's what we want to c concentrate our attention on right now. Um, whoops, you're saying it looks like a fishing line, eh? Hmm. Interesting. I'm trying to see that. Oh, okay, I see it, I see it. So here, look. I'm gonna do this, add a little hook, and there it is. And this person is casting out a line. Right? Like so. And there's our water. So about to go fishing. Yeah, hey, I think that works. I hope that's what you meant. All right, now what about this one on the right? Tell me what you see for the one on the right and I'll see what I can do with it. Okay, that, that first one turned out pretty well, uh, pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna turn off our little raccoon buddy here as well as our raccoon facts. So we have plenty of space to draw for this next one. And then we're gonna jump to the animal and activity game. So in the back of your minds, be thinking about an animal doing something strange, something funny, something unexpected, so we can draw that after this doodle. Let's see, looks like mid-century modernist furniture. Aha, aha, I see, I see, Koi, I like that one. Let's see what I can do with that, watch this. We are going to rotate it, because again, folks, with this game, rotation station, that is the key, right? Rotate things and see what you get. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Ba -ba -da -bum. Choo. Whoops. Gonna draw that little line like that. And here we have a nice mid-century modern chair. And we have a person sleeping in that chair. And maybe that chair has some kind of cool ottoman that goes with it, like that. Ah, da, 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 da. Okay, what do you think about that? That doodle game is one of my favorites. Try it with your friends. Pass, pass the paper back and forth, see what you can do with it, and you'd be surprised. Your imaginations will come up with all kinds of amazing things, I believe. Now, for the animal and activity, it is time for you to tell me. An animal doing something weird, something funny, something unexpected, and I will draw that for you. Um, by the way, Satvik, uh, nice of you to join us, thank you. Uh, I am drawing with a Wacom stylus. I'm holding it up to the camera right now. Hope you can see it. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Can you see this? There is my stylus. Wacom Cintiq tablet, 22 HD, one of my favorite models. Um, but yes, to answer your question. Uh, thanks, Ariana. Glad you enjoyed that. Um, alrighty, let's see. Koi, you think it's groovy? Yeah, it's a good word, groovy. I don't use that one enough. Cat playing saxophone. Ha! Ah, jellyfish dancing. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Uh, duck surfing on a chainsaw. Whoa! That's a strange one, but I like it. A whale singing. We did a whale recently. Um, well, let's see. Time is short. I think I'm going to go for... Uh, we did another animal playing saxophone not too long ago, so how about we do Ariana's jellyfish dancing? I like that. So, as usual, I start with a light color for these, okay, so I can do my sketch. So we're going to do the jellyfish. And I think it's going to be one of those that has like one or two long tentacles. And then the other ones are just kind of like chilling out. But I'll take advantage of, of um, that other long one. You know what we're going to do? Watch this. We are going to put um, sunglasses on the jellyfish because that's just funnier. And let's get another arm our tentacle up this way. And I 
think uh, the other thing we might need on this jellyfish is a hat. There we go. Okay. Got some music. And um, there we go. All right, now let's knock it back. So it's nice and light. Actually, might make it a little darker than that so you all can see it. And we'll jump back to our darker color. And as I look at these sunglasses, I think, you know what? Actually, I think I want to change the style of these sunglasses. I'm going to go this way and do that. So slightly different uh, shape there for the sunglasses. You can change your mind. That's the great thing about putting a sketch down. You see something and you say, all right, do I like it? What do I think? Should I change it? Sure. It's your drawing. You have that flexibility. You can change it to be whatever you like. Right? Nothing is set in stone unless you're working in stone. So I can't help you if that's the case. Right, if, you're, if you're Michelangelo, Michelangelo, I should say, since I, I know that's the right way to pronounce it, and you're working on the David, there really isn't any Command Z or, you know, there's not really any opportunity to erase, right? Look at all these S curves and C curves you gotta draw when you're doing a jellyfish, right? Good to practice those. Good to practice curvilinear lines And if you're wondering how to draw those better, um, draw more with your, your shoulder, your forearm and your shoulder, or really it's, it's your shoulder and your elbow, I guess, but not so much with your wrist, okay? Um, if you're trying to do it all with your wrist and uh, the muscles in your fingers and everything, you're gonna wind up with more wobbly lines. You just kind of have to go for it and draw with the shoulder. Um, and if you've ever taken a, a life drawing class, um, you know, normally this would be something you do at a university, but they have community life drawing classes. Uh, they'll, the first thing they'll get you to do is hold your pencil differently, more kind of like a screwdriver, not like you're writing a letter to somebody. And they'll tell you about this stuff, like how to draw um, with these bigger, more confident lines um, and you got to do it that way because you just get smoother lines in the end so there you go and hey look let's put some little fishies around this this jellyfish what do you think should we do that put another one there Kind of looking at him like, what are you doing over there? Um, the other thing I want to do is add a couple of music notes. So we're going to do that over here. Put one over here. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. Well, as always, we hide the sketch and we see how we did. So we're going to hide that sketch. And uh, let's take a look at our jellyfish here. Fun idea. Good suggestion. Nice way to jump back into this show. Thank you very much. Um, well, thanks everybody for hanging out. Uh, a peanut butter fish too. What is a peanut butter fish? Hmm, I don't know what that is. Skunk would have been cool, says Ariana. A skunk doing what? Skunk belly flop. Oh, that's great. Yeah, hold on to that one. Elephant sword fighting. Oh, we have all kinds of good ideas here. Um, 
Well, guys, hang on to those because I'll be back again tomorrow. And things are changing up. I want to quickly tell you that um, I'll be doing my drawing show like this uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Fridays, I'll be doing a new master class. So that's for older folks who are um, more interested in uh, professional illustration tips and techniques and things like that. Um, but yeah, join me tomorrow. Um, I want to say thanks again for hanging out, and I hope you all stay safe and sound and take care of yourselves as well as each other. Do some drawing. It's healthy for you. And um, I will see you again tomorrow. Remember, be kind. Take care, everybody.